Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and today in this video we are going to talk about another tool which has the capability of artificial intelligence in it. So if you heard about Notion, Notion is another notes taking tool pretty much like Evernote or OneNote or any other uh, note taking tool which has the ability not just taking the note but it has gone even further to write uh, Wikipedia or wiki pages for you or even the confluence pages within your company or you can also write like the project management documents or like the collaborative documents everything in much much simplified unified fashion because it has got a lot of templates and stuff. So if you already heard about Notion, you know what I'm really talking about. But that's not what exactly what I'm going to be talking about in the Notion, at least in this particular video. Rather, we are going to talk about the new product which is yet to launch by Notion, which is the uh, AI feature in the Notion. I mean, there is no uh, option available over here in the menu to tell about that. So all you have to do is just hack to go to the slash product slash AI and you will see that is a black screen which tells you about introducing Notion AI. And you can see that this is currently in the alpha state. I mean, this feature is currently in the alpha stage. So you need to join the waitlist to gain access of it. I mean, I just got the access and you can see right now that I do have the access over here, but you can actually do a lot more stuff over here. You can see there are some ideas like what you need to do. Uh, you can write the blog post, with the help of AI, you can also write the meeting agenda, social media post, press releases, job descriptions, sales email. I don't know if I have, I didn't write all these things, but you can also write poems if you really wanted to. Uh, I mean, all those things which you can see are pretty much like how you can do that with a chat GPT. I mean, in chat GPT, you have to just say a word and chat GPT is gonna create everything and it's gonna write things for you. You can't go and edit it. If you wanted to edit it, then you, gotta copy that into another notepad or whatever and then you need to ask questions slightly different way so that it can respond it based on that particular option but this notion ai is going to be a hybrid option where you can keep asking pretty much like how you write the code using the github copilot or the tab 9 pro uh, which is going to help you writing the code in c sharp or whatever language that's exactly what it is. It's like a hybrid where you can ask the question or you can write yourself or you can edit the code or the text which is generated by the Notion AI and then you can keep going from there. It is more collaborative rather than just like a one way where ChatGPT is gonna throw things for you and you can't really go and edit that. So that is the takeaway or that is the more better option that the Notion AI is gonna provide for you. So I'm gonna show you all these things over here in an in action, I will show you how awesome the Notion AI is going to help me write a full blog post without even me writing even a single text, right? So let's see how we can do that. So first of all, you need to join the waitlist and then you need to get into access. And then if you have the web version, you can just go and hit the login and you can continue with Apple or uh, Windows if you really have. I mean, I have the Mac operating system, so I'm just going to double click in my mac uh, or in the apple watch or you can also open the desktop version of the notion if you already have installed so i already have the desktop version in my mac so i can open it and this article that you are seeing over here is actually written using the artificial intelligence tool which is nothing but the uh, notion ai so i'm not going to get into this part yet and rather we're just going to write a simple uh, probably a blog post uh, for playwright versus selenium and how it is going to enhance our uh, way of testing that is what is this article that we're going to be writing and we'll see if notion ai could write that much much easily for us or not so if you just go to the hit add page and then you can see that there is something called as a start writing with ai so once you hit this start writing with ai it is going to ask you what you're going to try to write so i'm going to say uh, comparison between uh, Selenium versus Playwright. Uh, so I, must, I think the comparison spelling was wrong. So I'm gonna say comparison and I'm gonna hit enter. So you will notice that it is automatically gonna start writing the article for me. So it's gonna write, okay, comparison between Selenium versus Playwright. So what is Selenium? And it also write what is uh, Playwright and what are the difference between both of them? And you can see that it has written first paragraph about Selenium is a web automation framework, uh, which do all those things and supports different browser. And also it writes about the Playwright is a Java 
script based framework for automation testing and it does all those things great and you can see that selenium has a larger range of feature every to run in parallel blah 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 and the playwright on the other hand is focused on providing streamlined experience for automating web application so you can see that overall it is also giving you a bit of a conclusion suggestion that this is what is how the selenium and playwrights are and how they are actually looking for, uh, is actually working and kind of stuff so you can see that I have written a big article, like a gigantic article already over here with all those details without me writing even a single line of articles text. This is the power of Notion AI and you have already started to see some of the benefit out of it already, right? Great. And now I'm gonna say, I wanted to either continue writing. So if I just hit slash over here, you can say like continue writing. So this is going to start writing one more detail i mean more detail about this particular topic like each framework has its own strength and weakness it is important to consider the specific need of the project so now it brings you up some of the comparison that you can do like their strength and weakness so now we can probably ask ai to write like what if you uh, write a comparison table uh, for selenium with playwright for me so now once i do that you will notice that it is also going to write a simple comparison table like range of features supported programming language debugging experience and ease of use so these are all just coming for me automatically uh, i mean i have not written anything and everything is coming for me over here right so this is uh pretty amazing i mean everything is written by ai we can just uh, probably see a proof of reading like what this written uh, text is going to look like or is it really matching our experience we can use that and what if i wanted to write a simple code uh, for the uh, playwright versus selenium so simple uh, i think i've already asked this question simple selenium code with c sharp or simple code for both playwright and selenium to open the executeautomation.com uh, website and verify its network call so i'm asking not just opening the browser but i'm asking to verify all the network interception of the calls to be uh, coming up for me so you can see that once i do it it is automatically going to write for me the code snippet for playwright and also for selenium so that is awesome right it is writing the code for me over here at least it is writing for me in the uh, javascript we can but we can also ask if we wanted to write this code in c sharp so for example if i'm going to put a try again here in c sharp language so you can see that now this code is written in c sharp language for me instead of javascript which is great right now you can see that it is also writing the code for me over here and i have not written anything like everything is automatically coming pretty much like chat GPT where it generates the code for you. Even this Notion AI is going to generate the code for you. And one more thing, instead of the plain text over here, you can just choose the language for the markdown like C sharp and over here for C sharp. And it takes some time for you to render it. But yeah, that is going to be working for you as well, which is cool. And now let's say if I want to write some of the architectural diagram uh, for the selenium and the playwright then i can just hit here and i'm gonna say heading one architecture and in fact i try to use the uh, instead of me typing it i used the mac operating systems own uh, typing feature i can just say architectural diagram for selenium and playwright there we go there is a bit of spelling mistake there that is fine and you can see that I don't even have to type anything over here. I just said, and Mac is going to help me writing that for that's cool. So I can just capitalize it a bit. There we go. And now I'm going to ask the AI to write for me. So I'm going to hit over here a slash and ask the AI to write. I'm going to say, and I found a bug last time while I was actually using this. So I'm going to see if that is going to still happen. So I'm going to hit enter over here. And you will notice that it is going to pull some diagrams from the internet, but mostly those diagrams won't exist. So you will see that this error is going to come. So I can probably uh, discard this particular piece, but rather I can ask to say uh, architecture of the, instead of architecture diagram, I can say architecture for Selenium as playwright. So I'm going to copy this and I can put slash, ask the AI to write, I'm going to put this 
and if I hit enter over here now you will notice that it is going to start getting or writing me the architecture so you can see that it is saying selenium architecture consists of four components selenium server web driver browser and application under test and then it is going to write details for me over here and also writing for the playwrights architecture so now you can see that it not only writes the text code but it also writes the whole uh, features in the comparison table and also it writes the code for me and in fact we can also ask it to list all the features for selenium and for the playwright so i can just say uh, here on the heading one list of selenium features uh, and i can ask the ai to write list of selenium features and once i do that you will notice that it is going to write all the features in a list in like a blood point to write all the list of all the features which the selenium has got and similarly i can write the heading over here for playwright and i can do the exact same thing as the ai to write but list of uh, playwright feature and you will notice that it is going to write all the playwright features for me this is awesome right now we have written the whole big article over here in less than two minutes because i'm just explaining you but you can see that the notion ai is already doing a great job over here to write me an article and this is crazy so ai is going quite crazy these days like it is helping us to do a lot of babysitting works completely away from us and it is writing things for us if it is getting more and more knowledge like this probably we will have to do much much lesser work and the whole babysitting extra effort including spelling comma or spaces or even fixing the grammar error everything is going to be taken care by AI including you know what I mean and then probably that's the uh, new new uh, which is going to be happening pretty soon so that is guys just let me know what you think about notion AI and try to join the waitlist and see if you could get the access and see how the notion AI is going to helpful for you once again thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day